we want to make sure that we have a tube in the trachea with the cuff inflated. That's the definition of a secure airway. As you prepare, you want to make sure all your equipment is ready to go. Laryngoscope is powered, bulb is working, endotracheal tube with a stylet in place. The tip of the stylet, of course, recessed from the end of the tube. Inflate your cuff to make sure that it's working. Suction is available as well. Normally, your resuscitation team would be bagging the patient. When you're prepared, the guideline is for the provider to take a deep breath and hold it just as your patient will be holding the breath as you prepare to do your intubation. With the head slightly tilted, making sure that suction is applied so all the secretions are out of the way, the laryngoscope blade is introduced, the tongue is swept to the right, and the elevation on the laryngoscope blade goes up and away from the patient, not cranking on the teeth. Visualizing the cords, I place the tube and watch the cuff go inside the cords. Stylet comes out, cuff is inflated, and patient is ventilated. Watch for rise and fall of the chest, and then auscultate to hear breath sounds on each side with no borborygmy. An additional device is the end tidal CO2 monitor. Once the patient has been intubated successfully, this device allows you to double check and make sure that you're in the trachea. By placing this device between the endotracheal tube and your bag, you're able to watch for a color change that occurs that witnesses the CO2 level rising with your resuscitation. Normally the color is purple when it comes out of the bag showing low CO2 concentrations and you expect to see this change from purple to tan to yellow letting you know that you have successful intubation.